So here we are with step four, the final step of the final comparison. Now, there could be stuff that sometimes you record it as a debit instead of a credit and a credit instead of a debit. In case you don't know what either of them are, a debit is something that is deducted out of the bank account, that it takes money out of your bank account, and a credit is something that increases your bank account. Sometimes when people are rushing to do these things, they mix them up and uh, at the bank reconciliation is when we find them. Now, if you're finding stuff that is just outright out of nowhere, it could be fraud and you're going to want to take time to take care of that. Now, the other thing I want to make note is that it's very important to do this at least once a month. Me personally, I have between my business and my personal, I like to do it every week because I need to know how much cash that I have to spend, you know, for my children, uh, for my business, and I generally know, um, but I like to keep up to date. So uh, the actual bank reconciliation you're going to want to do at the end of the month, but just to keep up to date with these transactions, you're going to want to keep into a process weekly. And at any point, if it's hard, then go into bi-weekly. Don't let it get longer than that, because what happens is, is tax time, you get into a crunch. So. I hope you enjoyed these steps of this video. I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. And um, if you're one of those who get overwhelmed with a bank rec and you can use some help, I would love for you to reach out so that I can help you with your question and your concerns and anything else that might be in that avenue. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in the last video.